welcome back to the Citizen Channel. You're all staying safe and well. And our Player 18 show, I've hot-footed it back or hot-trammed it back or whatever you want to say from Manchester City 2, Leeds United 1. Yes, me uh, 4-0. Well, it should have been 4-0 at least, shouldn't it? But hey, uh, we'll take the three points. I think I've said that a few, two or three times recently, haven't we? Uh, we'll have a look at the Player 18 of the company, Simon Bukowski of the Manchester Evening News. I'll, I'll stick my two penny with him from being there and... Uh, yeah, a little bit of a frust not frustration, but uh, yeah, um, not quite as good as it perhaps could have been. But we'll talk about that anyway when we talk about the players. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great to have you on board, everything city, past, present and forever. And if you're pushing buttons, you press that little like button for this player rating show. I'll be very, very grateful. Right, as I said, Mr. Bukowski is in charge. I'll give you his thoughts and then I'll just add my little thoughts. We'll start with, uh, well, we'll start at the beginning. We'll start with Mr. Edison. Edison, Simon said, had a very good game. He did. Even if it wasn't asked to do much. What he, what he did, he did okay. Made crucial interventions to keep City's clean sheet safe. Well, obviously, we didn't get a clean sheet. Didn't get a clean sheet, Simon. Did, did you go? Did you go after 85 minutes, mate? I'm not, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, no chance with the goal. I thought it was a good display. I mean, uh, one, one pretty nifty save from a downward header. I, I remember that, all right, if it had been another yard, yard either side, if him perhaps wouldn't have got to it but uh, I thought generally coming off his line coming to collect the ball etc I thought considering he was either dropped or rested in the last game depending who you speak to uh, a good display a good display of Edison today um, that'll do him no harm whatsoever Simon's given him a seven I'm going to give him a seven Lewis, nice to see him back. Simon said enjoyed himself. He certainly did on his first start in over two months. Has it been that long? Shuttling between defence, holding midfield and a number eight role. Yeah, it's interesting. We know Rodri, I think he was playing Lewis and as sort of the legs for Gundogan, wasn't he? Gundogan was uh, pro, pro, patrolling patrolling that middle bit uh, and Lewis was the sort of legs up and down, wasn't he? So it worked pretty well uh, against, OK, not the greatest team in the world. They wouldn't be near the bottom of the league if they were any good. But uh, it worked fairly well, so he did pick up where he left off. Simon's given him a seven. Uh, I'll echo that. I'll give him a seven as well. Akanji, yes, he made a mistake, so he's going to get pilloried uh, in on social media. Some play. Oh, I told you. I told you he was rubbish, didn't he? Because he's obviously now made one mistake, probably for the goal. It's a shame. But Simon said a mostly calm afternoon. It was uh, mopping up Bamford, but was poor for the Leeds goal. Yes, yeah, just committed himself. Uh, is it Rodrigo who scored the goal, isn't it? I did say to my lad when he came on, I said, oh, he's, he's, he surely scored against us when he beat us a couple of years ago. I might be getting mixed up with someone else, but uh, uh, obviously he, he popped up for the goal. But yeah, uh, it did ruin his day, really, for a kanji. Uh, Simon has given him a six. I am I'm going to give him a six. Hopefully that error's out of his way now. I'm sure he'll be starting against Madrid. So let's hope that's his sort of one error and he'll learn from it and improve. Oh, we, we can only hope, can't we? Laporte, Simon said, a comfortable return to the team, but may not have done enough to start in Madrid. Well, he's, again, uh, people have been picking on Laporte. Some people have been defending him. Uh, if he comes in and does a, a capable job like he did today, I mean, you know, all respect to him. As I say, he's not had much chance, has he, recently? So all credit to him. And I, I'm going to uh, echo a seven score from Simon. I'll give him a seven as well. Uh, as I say, the fact that he's not uh, first name on the team sheet by a long way. Uh, all credit to him. He did a good enough job today. Aki Simon said, look confident bringing the ball forward out of defence before bringing a premature end to his game. I'm hoping he's all right. Someone said it's a hamstring. Uh, uh, he had his back to us. He was sat on the floor nursing his wound or nursing his... His, his soul probably uh, so hopefully it's only a two or three week thing again but again we're, we're going to miss him certainly going to miss him in Madrid as well he's, he's been brilliant this season but I can, we can only mark him for what he stayed on can't we and I thought he played pretty well today Simon's given him a seven I'd, I'd have to echo that I'll give him a seven as well Gundo, yes, interesting, interesting from Gundo. Two goals, said Simon, an immaculate passing to remind City how good he remains. Wasted a hat trick chance with the penalty, though. He should never have took the penalty. He should, he should, should never have been offered the penalty. It's not about sentimentality, it's about putting games to bed, it's about game management. So, yes, he did waste it, unfortunately. 
and apparently he's missed fifty percent of the penalties he's taken for City, so that's not good, um, not good at all. So he shouldn't be anywhere near that penalty spot unless it's a, a penalty shootout at the end of a game when hopefully he can hit the target. But uh, overall, he was brilliant. As I said, uh, Lewis was doing all the all the footwork, if you like, but uh, Gundogan proud, patrolled and prowled that sort of area where Rodri might be brilliantly and got got up. Up top as well to score a couple of goals, so a fantastic performance. To say only, only blot on the landscape was was the penalty miss. Simon's given me an eight. I give him an eight as well. Alvarez, mm, interesting. He's pepped on to turn him into a midfielder. Anyway, Simon said blazed over a good early chance. Yeah, he should at least have hit the, hit the target with that one. That was shocking. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, and struggled to find a better one. An early chance and struggled to find a better one. Yeah, playing very deep. As I said, he's playing more midfield than attacking role today. And I, I thought I struggled. I, thought, I did think, I mean, Simon's giving him a six. I, I'm going to him a 5.5. I thought it was very, very poor today. But, you know, it's Pep asking him to do things too soon. You know, he's not had long enough perhaps on the pitch to, to get to know these things. Uh, I do worry that it certainly won't do his confidence any good. Uh, but, uh, of course, he's not a midfielder, is he? Well, yet. Anyway, you know what Pep's like. He tries to turn them all into midfielders, doesn't he? But, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing for Alvarez today. KDB, Simon said, in the mood from the off and unfortunate not to end up with a couple of assists. Yeah, he fit as a fiddle. Look, so, you know, these niggles, I thought, he, I was surprised he started the game. And I thought he would be obviously taken off, but he couldn't really take anyone off today at 2-0. You can't really start making all cell changes, can you? So, yeah, but he looks as fit as a fiddle. I thought he played very, very well. Simon's given him an 8. I'm going to give him a 7.5. Mares, Simon said, two assists thanks to his smart understanding with Gundo, although faded in the second half with the game one. Yeah, I thought if he didn't have those assists, it was just a just sort of get the ball, control it, and pass it sort of back rather than anywhere into danger with, with Mares today. He didn't certainly go at any defenders. But if you can if you can play an average game and get a couple of assists, assists, I suppose we can't complain too much, can we? Well, I will, but we shouldn't do really, should we? I mean, Simon's given me an eight. I'm going to give him a seven point five. I say just for the the basis of the two assists for the two goals, he's got to be there to do it, has he? In the first place, Folden, a very interesting one. Simon says similar to Laporte, worked hard and earned some opportunities, including the late penalty. Yet may find himself back on the bench on Tuesday. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I don't think he's ready to play Real Madrid on Tuesday again. Uh, lots of effort, lots of running, but it's not not the Phil Foden. Uh, we know and love just yet, but he's just coming back from, that's his first full game, that's his first full game since the appendix operation, so I'm not going to have too much of a down on him because of, because of that, and of course he won the penalty, which we should have converted, which we didn't, uh, and all credit for putting himself in that position. So yeah, Simon's, Simon's give him a, a 7, I'm going to give him a, a 6, uh, six point, I'll give him a 6.5 for winning the penalty, uh, as I said, all credit to him coming back from injury, etc., so I will give him a six point five just just for actually winning that penalty, which we should have scored. Right on to the interesting one of the day that um, Simon didn't think had a very good game, did I? Probably no, not really. That's one of those games where you can you can my our old big lummox Erling Haaland, of course. I do call him uh, big lummox in a nice way, not in a, not in a bad way, as you know. Um, but Simon said he missed a lot of chances, and then to Guardiola's fury, passed up the penalty for Gundo. Yeah, you take the penalty, mate. There's no sentimentality. At the end of the day, you want to score a lot of goals as well. Uh, take the penalty. It ruined the flow of the game. It probably ruined the, the mindset of the team. Uh, and obviously, once Gundo had missed it as well, that was probably even worse. I say, it's no coincidence that we conceded within within what a minute a minute and a bit of uh, of that penalty uh Alan, you've got to take you've had a sh you had a shocking game you had two or three chances all right you hit the post uh, you hit the bar but i think you're offside when you got that one uh but there's a couple of others where you know there were reasons i think there's one in the first half where he blasted it just past the post but the defender was getting back to cover it and, and got a sort of so Ireland had to try and put it to the to the right to the left hand post uh, right hand post that he was looking to the goalkeeper's left hand post uh, and he did blast it brilliantly, but obviously there wasn't enough enough angle to get it inside the post, unfortunately. But yeah, he did miss. Uh, I saw one or two layoffs that were okay, but yeah, 
I just thought it was poor today, Hal. And as I say, he, he can have poor games and score a goal or two. And he could have done if he'd scored that penalty. I might give him a higher score at least. For but you know, don't don't shirk responsibility, mate. You get that penalty taken. Uh, Sam has given him a four. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna give him a five. I, I, I'd have to give him a five. I just he was he was poor. It just didn't work for him. Hopefully, I don't think he suffers from a lack of confidence. It'll be fine for Real Madrid, but uh, yeah, not great today. And the substitutes: Walker, Faraki, settled straight into the team. Said Simon and contributed well in attack. Yeah, he's only on for about. Uh, 40 minutes with injury time wasn't he after Aki Aki went off um, yeah yeah he covered a couple of he got back quickly to cover a couple of little half hearted breaks from Leeds uh, yeah so Simon give him a 7 I'm going to give him a 6.5 yeah it does what we expect I mean if he did if he did any less we'd be a bit upset uh, and obviously the other two guys Bernardo for Alvarez was 89 minutes uh, I think he did a couple of nice little flicks and sort of he's there to hold the ball and not give it away and that's what he did and of course Rodri came on and even Rodri got sort of involved didn't he but uh, we can't give him a score of course he came on in 93 minutes for Gundo couple of sort of headers out of danger and I suppose if, if you're holding on to a game there's nothing wrong with bringing Rodri and Bernardo on uh, uh, it is what it is as we say isn't it but uh, yeah we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place but check out my talking point show guys we'll talk a little bit more about that of uh, why what happened with the game management Pep you know and Pep was having a a bit of a uh, slagging Gundo and Haaland off but at the end of the day Pep you're the manager mate you should be make, making some decisions you know you'll, you lay yourself open for some of this sometimes by saying you leave it to the guys on the pitch and it's, so whose fault was it you know it's just as much yours mate but uh, we'll talk about that in the talking points anyway let me know your ratings guys man of the match uh, yeah I'd have to give it Gundo I thought you had an excellent game today apart from the penalty miss which uh, uh, was a bit sad but uh, a little blot on the landscape but when we get a victory it doesn't really matter in, in the end of the day does it three points in the bag and we move on another goal to the goal difference fantastic but let me know your scores guys let me know your man of the match It'd be great to hear from you and please check out as i said my talking point show and very soon of course will be the preview for the real madrid game just, a, just another little game coming up thanks for watching guys join me again that's one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now